hey guys welcome to fish hook i'm charles today we're headed out to do some jetty fishing right by near clearwater beach and this is where the pass is by bel air and i think it'd be interesting they say snooker running sharks running and we're going to be hooking some live bait uh in, up through the upper uh, lip through the nostrils so they stay alive with no weight and cast it out there we've got some grunts some mud minnows that you, i'll show you what they are and we've got live shrimp and we've got fiddler crab so we're going to try a little bit of everything fish in all parts of the column it's uh 90 degrees it's uh 12 o'clock in the afternoon and we're going to test it out and see if the jetty will produce anything so we will see you in just a couple of more minutes so hang in there okay we are at <coughs> sand key park this is what it uh looks like here's a five dollar all day you could park your car here which is very reasonable you've got the beach down there and out this way where we're going to walk <coughs> there's a jetty that goes out snook and uh shark are running uh, we're going to run some live bait and we're going to see how that goes. And in addition, this is the Bel Air Bridge. And these are the Bel Air Bluffs. So this causeway is really a nice place to fish. And that is the Gulf of Mexico. If you go to the right, it's Clearwater Beach. You go to the left, you'll go up Indian Rocks and all the other beaches. So let's get going. And we've got crabs, shrimp, and mud minnows to fish with plus we've got some artificials we've picnicked here amy and i here and we fished from here and caught a ton of fish but i'm going to go further out on the jetty where it's privacy and we're going to have a blast we'll spend the afternoon here and see if we can get anything to bite it's a little bit of a walk to the uh, jetty. This is Sand Key Beach. As you can see, all the different hotels and people just relaxing. This is just a beautiful body of water, the Gulf. Well, what do you know? There's a sign here that says, please keep off rocks. We used to be able to walk all the way out there, but this is just the same. So we're gonna go out here, find a good stable place, get the bait in the water, and we'll do some fishing. Well, we've got a three-foot leader on here. I just took off my snap swivel. I'm going to put on a three-aught circle hook, black nickel, which seems to last very long and inexpensive instead of using stainless hooks, which inevitably they're going to be lost. So we'll tie this boy on with an improved clinch knot. I wrap it around four times, pull it through, go through the loop one more time, where your teeth come in handy grab, grab your pliers to tighten up the loop that'll be a nice snug snip it and this if you can see it is an improved clinch knot now I'll show you how we hook our mud minnow up These guys got like nine lives like a cat. We're gonna go through the top lip and out the nostril. There we go. And this way he can swim out there and it should be real good. So we're gonna cast him out and we're gonna free line is the ticket today. So let's get some place to stand which looks good here and we're going to see what happens just going to let him go out there for a while and see if anything picks it but what I'm fishing with today is a B Daiwa BG 4000 reel and I'm using an inexpensive rod an Andy tournament inshore it's an 8 foot medium heavy 10 to 20 pound rating and it'll take a quarter to one ounce lure. 
I happen to like the long cork butt. I like that for holding it. And we're just going to let this thing go out there. You need at least an 8 foot rod here. Even a 9 foot will work. I'm going to give him some line. And I'm going to let him do his thing. And if something picks him up, I'm going to hold. You never know. And when I hooked him in through the upper lip and through the nostril, if I pull him, he's still in the form of swimming. So it should be good. And usually by the rocks here, this water goes right down. This water is probably 20 foot average. When it gets underneath the bridge over there, it goes down to 30 feet because we've already checked it with our uh, electronics. Okay, I'm going to get him away from the rocks there and see if I can see a good thing of having the rod all the way out there is that you can pull him along and away in front of the rocks so I'm going to cast him out a little bit forward so we're going to go with the two uh, this is a three ounce and I, oh, it's red hot too because of the sun. And we'll feed that in here in just a minute. In the meantime, we've got to trim this hook. Get that knot off. There we go. And sometimes if you don't have, you can't cut it off and there's a bunch of knots, carry a lighter with you, which I don't seem to have with me today. And you just burn off the excess off the hook and it comes out nice and clean. All right. We'll tie another improved clinch knot. Oh yeah, something is pulling it. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got it. We got something now. Oh yeah, we got him now. There we go guys, we got ourselves a fish. I don't know what it is. But I love it. Excellent. Oh, he's fighting good. Nice. Oh, yeah. Who knows what it is? Got to keep tension all the time on the fish. Or you'll lose the guy. Get a flat rock to stand on. So he, what he's doing is trying to go to the rock. Oh, beautiful. What is that? Holy mackerel. That was a barracuda that had this. Look at this. A ja oh, my goodness. A jack took it in the barracuda. Cut him in half. Look at that, guys. Now that's action. There's a bar nice big barracuda here. Can you believe it? Look at that. A cut like a knife holy mackerel look at that sliced oh I love it I'm gonna pull this guy out let's see what's the condition maybe a fish will take him oh oh I think we have a fish oh yes there's a fish on for sure. Oh yeah. How do you like that? What is this? Might be a trout or something. Let's see another fish. Yes. Boy, that was a. Oh, what is this? Another stinking catfish. My favorite one. They're ruining the fishing for me. Another catfish, salt water. You do not want to touch the side fins or that top. Those things will put you in a hospital with their venom. There you go. He's in the water. Oh, there went a good mud minnow. Wasted on a catfish. Oh, wow. See that? Something was all over that. He wants it. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah, baby. Whatever it is, let's see. He went for the kill. 
Keep your tension on the rod. Oh yes, nothing like outsmarting the fish. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, he's nice. Let's see what it is. Come on. Oh no, not another one. Oh Lord. This catfish heaven today. What is going on? Well, I want to say goodbye to our friend. He gave up his life valiantly. Unbelievable. Well, we will donate him to the ocean to be picked on and eaten up. Well, guys, that was a great time out on the jetty. Caught catfish, didn't come for catfish, but you never know when you go to a jetty what's going to be running. And this is a great, great straight over here at Channel when it empties out into the Gulf. We'll be doing this again. And I want you guys there with me. I want you included in these adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. It was great to do this uh, today. It was great to do it with you. And I hope you guys got the feel just like I did every time there was a hook set. I hope you learned something on how I hooked live bait. There's many ways to do it, but we hooked in the upper jaw through the nostril. He, they stay alive and mud minnows are very resilient and pinfish and then when you pull them through the water if you're free lining them without a weight they'll it's in the natural motion so i hope you learned something i chose to do a knocker rig they were on the bottom and uh man mr barracuda was there also so it was a great day and now it's time to uh, call it an evening so you guys have a great night and uh, we'll catch you on the next video thanks again bye